Good morning, this is Chuck Malone with JK Realty. I am out in Queen Creek to give you a little home tour on the latest community to come out here to Queen Creek. It's Gateway Quarter by Shea Homes. And I want you to know that this is a very unique and very, very well located uh, community. In fact, all the homes are going to be single level, so you have a great view of the mountains. Yeah, if you purchased a home and you, there wasn't any other homes around and you thought, oh man, I've got the greatest view, and then uh, somebody puts in a two-story right in front of you and there goes the view. That's not going to happen here at, at Gateway Quarter. Now, I, I want to set the stage for you because we won't have time uh, during this uh, broadcast to go through all of them, but I wanted you to be aware that there's three different model locations uh, in the same community and so those of you that are looking for a home in the low uh, 300s or the high 200s you'll find that here but the, the prices don't vary that much all the way up to the 3,000 square foot homes uh, you can buy a 3,000 square foot home for 388 uh, and and uh, they come with some great amenities so I think it's something that you want to come and take a, a look at the other thing I like about Gateway Quarter is its location to the freeway. We're out in Queen Creek. We're, we've got Santan just to the east of us. Uh, you're facing and fronting uh, Ellsworth, but there's just a, a, a couple of miles until you get to, I guess we're at Germain, and so you have Germain and Pecos, and then, and then you'll have uh, uh, the freeway uh, loop. 24 or 202 that come the exit 24 that comes off 202 and so we're just to the east of, of Ellsworth and Germain the southeast corner so let's uh, let's uh, take a look at some of the homes today that we're going to go look at the first one uh, here this is called the aperture the, the little community that we're in uh, there's two others but this is called the aperture so as you come into the subdivision uh, you'll just want to turn right. That'll be the first one that you come to. This home, this uh, community models three plans. The first model we're going to look at is a uh, 2,400 square foot home. The the uh, last model we're going to look at is going to be a 2,100 square foot. So 20. They even have a 1,900 square foot. Uh, home. Uh, they don't have that model, but the prices start at $295.5. I liked about the plans that I've seen is uh, they come with a three bedroom. Some come also with a den. They some come with the th with the three car garage, uh, and the real three car garage where you have two car and then the one, uh, or you can get the fourth bedroom and just have the two car. So there's kind of that option, and I like that flex facility out here that Shay offers. So we're just kind of waiting for that other couple. They probably didn't want to be on uh, Facebook Live with us this morning, but uh, we let that little family leave. Let's go in and see. Now, uh, my wife and Brittany have been out uh, to these uh, uh, models already, and I uh, this will be my first, so we'll be kind of seeing this together. Oops, let's turn down the volume. <laughs> How's that? That's much better. Okay, well, well, I like what I see so far. Now this home is 2,400 square feet. This is the first model, and uh, the, the uh, A elevation is uh, 318.990. So I'm not sure that that's the elevation we're seeing. So we're just trying to expose you to this as a service to my Facebook clients and friends and anybody else and your friends and others. So you've got a pretty long, uh, walkway. Um, again, I'm going to leave that up to you. You know, is that a positive? Is that a negative? Is that something you want? Uh, then you'll love it or you'll not love it. Right off the entry, we have a bedroom. Take go ahead and take a look at that. Again, remember these are well designed and uh, upgraded. I don't have the list of upgrades. Let's see here. So construction features, design features, we do have granite, we do have uh, the 42 inch maple cabinets, pretty much standard as we're seeing now. You've got stainless steel appliances, you have the, the GE uh, cooktop, electric, 
got a built-in oven, got a microwave. This is kind of a neat little arrangement here. If you sit, if you take a shot from here, Brittany, and, and just kind of pan through, they can get an idea of the two bedrooms, and then you have the, the common area there. So if you have two kids and you want to keep them together, and then the parents, I'm believing, is on the other side. So here's the hall bath. So this comes with three and a half. Three and a half. Yeah, three baths. This one comes with three baths. Nice model area. And so I'm, I'm supposing as well as that will be the, the, the door to the garage. So you come right through. But look at the space of this. You got plenty of room for that extra refrigerator we all like to have. I'm sure there's a sink extra, but uh, you still have, again, you, it's a space we're looking at and the arrangement of the space today. You'll notice that they're going with the quartz. As I've said in uh, former broadcasts, we're going to see that more and more. The quartz is gonna take over the granite for the most part. Yep, there's a hall closet where you can keep all your skeletons. Now they've gone a little bit off beat. They didn't go with the white cabinets. Uh, they've gone with a little gray and, uh, and matching, uh, again, quartz countertops. Very nice backsplash. So this home features the center area, the great room concept, with plenty of uh, family room gathering space. You've got, really, for that Christmas uh, uh, gathering, you, you can put in several tables and put in your, your whole uh, family. Kind of neat. You want to check with the sales uh, lady to see if you know, can there, can all of this be that wall of uh, glass, pretty much wall of glass now? I'm assuming that these two would be a standard and then you would pay for the larger ones. Nice covered patio, adequate uh, size lots. If you can get a, a kind of a, a picture from this corner here, just kind of pan over to the kitchen. Slowly, they'll be able to see and get a, an idea of that range. Well lit home. And then the other thing I think that's uh, notable is you have the master and it's separate. So you have that, that uh, privacy, if you will, uh, which uh, you, I'm sure you would like from your kids at times. So this is the master and then you've got the little barn door to, I'm sure that's an extra, but it's kind of cool. I didn't even think about that when we were building homes. That was just never a, an option, unless it was a barn that I was building. But it's kind of cool. I did a visual, Brittany, but. All right, so, nice shower. Um, Again, don't take uh, any of this as being standard until we get the, uh, the details. Optional features, um, farmhouse type sinks, uh, elevated baseboards, the, the uh, classy closet systems, community features. That's something you might be interested in. All single level homes I mentioned, front yard, landscapes, uh, landscaping is included. They have some ramadas, ramadas, uh, barbecue and picnic tables. They've got a half a basketball court, uh, climbing boulders, uh, slide, balance beams, game tables, that sort of thing. Jungle gym out there, tree house, hey, there you go. And a large greenhouse, uh, green space with canopy shade. Walking paths and uh, just a, a view fencing for some of the lots as well. So let's get going. So you can see that the double sinks in the master. It always interests me why builders would put one sink in a master bedroom for the most part. Even if you're single by yourself, it's nice to have two so you can get one really messy and then not have to clean it until you get the other one messy. All right, double sinks. <laughs> 
the Malone humor, I'm sorry. All right, well, let's, uh, let's run over to the next one. When I was building homes, and I know that the, the, that was 100 years ago, but the one thing that I tried to do, and it's something that you, you know, you, you may agree with or you don't, is how much of my space is livable? If I'm paying for five foot by, you know, 30 feet, and, and I've got 150 feet of square footage that's costing me $200 a square foot, I want that to be livable. And you may be into impact. You may have a display that you want to show. This would be absolutely perfect for you. It's a little bit, a little bit, uh, I would rather see this more usable if it were me. So we have a question. Yes. Oh, a question. <clears throat> Hi, Dina. Chuck, anything out there with guest quarters? Ah, good. Yes. Yes, great. And we may have to go to the other plan of the other community. Remember, this is the smallest community in within the community, or the smallest, I don't know what we want to call it, the chapter in the book, if you will. And uh, this is the aperture, but there's two other uh, communities that uh, we won't have time to preview today, but I know that one of them, if, I, if you go online to Gateway Quarter by Shea Holmes, you'll be able to see all the plans there. And uh, uh, you'll see there there is a a guest quarters den uh, plan absolutely the other thing I like about these is they have a little uh, porch out front and really encourages you to get to know your neighbors a little bit that's kind of a nice feature seems to be run, being more popular these days. Again, check on the exteriors. There are three uh, different exteriors that are going to come with the home, and, and some will be more expensive. All right. So this particular home now, this is the second model, and uh, this is the family-focused with all bedrooms opening to the central living area. And this then also has that optional fourth bedroom that if you wanted to take the three car garage, put it into a fourth, uh, four bedrooms, then you'll lose one of those. But this would accommodate. And this, this particular model is um, uh, priced at 305,990. Again, that's a basic, but that's, uh, that still comes with lots of, of um, features. Again, this has the bedroom, one of the bedrooms right off the, the uh, so if you wanted a fourth bedroom, this would make a great guest room, Tina, because this has the, the, the separation from the rest of the house. They're, out, they're off here kind of on their own. They just have to come out one door and go into another just real quick. So this could be a very good guest uh, room. and. The, and still have two other bedrooms. And so the, to answer your question, we, we have one in the, in the Aperture community that would work out. Looks like it also still has the master. I'm assuming that that's gonna be the master out here. And then a, the nice open area, which allows you to pretty much do anything you want to do with this area here. I mean, if you've got the big table, if you wanted to move it over, do something to make a game table, put your pool table there. I mean, it's got uh, plenty of room. And this uh, this model is uh, 2352 uh, square feet. Again, a very efficient uh, kitchen setup with the appliances here and the sink here. And you just, you, I always like that instead of having to walk a country mile to, to uh, reach my, my oven and Then they've got the laundry room right off the kitchen area with a nice little walk-in pantry. I don't think we saw the pantry on the other one, Brittany, but uh, uh, you'll want to check that out, folks. This is it's probably similar to what we have here. And this, I'm sure, takes us to the garage area. So here's your two-car garage. 
careful again, just hold it. Mm -hmm. And then this takes us to the side. <coughs> you don't have a lot of side space, but you can have a garage. And you, you want, probably want to check the amenities, make sure that's included. It's probably not. But uh, anyway, nice size garage. Let's go take a look at the master. Now, you've got this area here that uh, could be kind of like a butler's pantry sort of thing, but you could put glass up here, really make a showcase out of your, your china ware and your whatnot, and have that available to everyone to see. I kind of like that. So you've got a lot, nice little pantry area. Here's, an, here's the, now, the, so you have that bedroom there, which took up, I'm sure, that took up the fourth bedroom, Tina, if that's what you were looking for. So that would take up the, the, uh, the uh, add a fourth bedroom. You've got the guest room there, you've got these two bedrooms here, kind of like close access to this bathroom. And then you have the master. So this is a great plan, folks. I mean, this honestly is a great plan. Again, this is my first time seeing them, so I'm not coming in here with any set agenda. And so we get a pan back there. And I do appreciate your comments. If you have any questions at all, just type them in and we'll, uh, we'll try to get to them. It's like they've got the nine foot ceilings as well through it. I don't know if I mentioned that. So here's the master. Looks like a little, little uh, I don't know if it's any larger than the other one, but probably about the same space, but you still have room for a, a sitting chair and, uh, and end tables. And you know, it's, it's about a similar size that we're finding. Again, we're only working with 2,350 square feet, and it shows very nice uh, for, for that. So it looks like you're in your bath areas. You have the Moen uh, chrome... Uh, 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 faucets and whatnot. You have uh, cultured marble surrounds, and so you don't have the the uh, granite or or the other double sinks and master. You you do have the elongated toilets. You have the high efficiency faucets and whatnot, and then medicine cabinets. So pretty much just standard. But you do have again, you do have uh, uh, space storage space and whatnot. Very nice. Though. And very and very uh, spacious. These are energy efficient homes. I I can just tell you because I've read and shown and sold Shea homes. I know they build and subscribe to the energy efficiency with the low E uh, concept. So uh, you know some of these plans they'll guarantee you that you hundred dollars uh, uh, maximum on your electric bill. All right, so we're on our way to number three, which uh, the third model is going to be um, actually the one we just saw only has 2,100, and uh, I'm trying to get used to their their uh, pricing, but it's or the characteristic 2185 if you can see that so that's the second model uh, for 305 this one we're going to now is the large one and that has the three bedroom three bath and two car and that's the one that's 2352 so let's see how big that one is when compared again take a look at the elevations here you'll see that these are nicely appointed very nice Careful there. Yeah. So we have kids out in front, so let's, or in there, right, right at the moment. So let's talk a little bit about, uh, so the range of houses out here, from what I've been able to tell, um, there are three to five bedrooms available. So they have that flex 
uh, feature that, uh, that many of you like. They have uh, the three-car garage and the true three-car garage. Uh, the, the, we already mentioned the single-level nature of the homes. So they're priced, uh, you know, in the in the 290 whatever is it, whatever that was 295s up to, if, if I remember seeing on the on the website up to 388, six, uh, six, six, seven or something like that. Anyway, uh, let's go take a look. That little family's gone. I'm sure glad you're with us today. I, uh, I we do these little little promotions for the builders. They really like them. I mean, I wish I would have had these, something like this when I was building homes, but uh, you just had to come out. So I try to keep a, a close eye on all the new stuff that's developing, just in case that's something you might want to come out. And be sure, I know I've, sit, I've told you this before, but if you're tuning in for the first time, listen, I have over 40 years experience in the real estate business, and I started off in home building, uh, if you can believe, uh, had a great 10 year run during the 20% interest rates and all of that. Oh yes, don't even, bring, don't even go there, Chuck. So I've got a perspective about these homes that uh, you're gonna find unique. So if you register me, even if you come in and I'm not here and you're seeing this broadcast, you come in and talk to Jessica at the front, uh, at the sales office here and just say, hey, we, um, we're represented by Chuck Malone and he'll be out here to register us, but so we won't sign in right now, but we just wanted to be sure, that, that we'll kind of pick the, we, we're, we're here to do an advance look to see which ones we might be interested in, but Chuck will be out here and get us registered. And if you'll do that, uh, that then assures that you'll have me for the duration of the construction. And if you followed any of my uh, posts and any of my ads, you'll see that I, I'm out here every week, Checking progress, looking over the contractor's shoulder, making sure that the studs are right, making sure that everything that you paid for is in the plan and that they're building them. And so just, just be aware that you have no representation when you come out. That sales agent's gonna treat you very fairly and very wonderful, but it's when we have conflict and when we have issues, you need someone on your side with some experience giving you that advice and that little direction. Plus, I'm here to put a little burden or your hate or a little uh, idea. Hey, this, you need to have the contractor check this particular area because it wasn't done correctly. They won't, they won't take anything from me, but they will from you because you're the buyer. So you have my resource to look over your shoulder and help you through this whole process. So that's worth registering it and getting, cost you nothing. So coming into this home, now again, this is the, the, uh, uh, third model plan 4013 you can see it there and this is has the flexible front room or optional fourth bedroom so you'll like this you can come on we're just doing you're just on facebook live and the whole world is seeing you here's two lovely ladies coming in or check they, they they got off work early so they could come and check out the models so coming into this here, we'll just, we'll give you your privacy. Here, this is, there we go. Okay, great. Um, we'll um, give you a little bit of, uh, of a preview of this. Again, all the, all the plans we've looked at so far have a bedroom street facing. So, you young teenagers, guess what? There's a window right there. Oh, I shouldn't have said that in front of all the mothers, should I? Oh, darn. Anyway. So again, we have a nice, uh, spacious bedroom. Now, if, again, Tina, if you're looking for the guest bedroom, there it is. It is contained right here in the bedroom itself. So here's your guest room, and you still have, uh, let's see, bedroom focused, uh, and the optional fourth bedroom. So uh, that would give you some real versatility with this model. And Tina, this is the model 4012. Uh, priced at three hundred five ninety. I'm sorry. Uh, this is the uh, twenty three fifty two. So this is the forty thirteen. I'm going to get this right. That's why I don't try to give you too many details. Come out, see, get me re registered, and and get a copy of this for yourself. And if you call me, text me, or whatever, I'll meet you out here, and walk through with you. Uh, but this one starts at three fourteen nine ninety. 
So, um, you know, $9,000 more is not a bad deal. All right, so let's move on. I think we're almost finished. I hope this is enough to whet your appetite. We'll probably come back because I've got other appointments this afternoon. Uh, we'll probably come back and show uh, some of the other parts of the community, but this will not be enough to get you whet your appetite. Now, here's a feature you don't see often in a 2,300 square foot home. And what would you do with this one? Probably you could put in a, the other bedroom. So this could, it looks like, either be a den, an office, a hobby room, whatever uh, interest you have or needs you have, this could be that optional fourth bedroom. Love it. And see, this is what I was talking about when I show back in here. When I'm talking about a usable space, you see, I'm able to, this whole area here ties in and is tied in with this, with just a brief walking area. So you really gain, this is a well-designed plan so far. I like it. So another bathroom. So you have three baths all together in this particular home. What you think, ladies? Awesome? I just can't help it. I'm such a tease. Such a tease. All right, so uh, I'll give you a little, a little tip. Down here, you have these little plastic rollers. They are plastic. Um, they can be reattached. Um, but it just, it's, it's a little difficult. We just did this for a client of mine because they uh, that just bought a home. Uh, but it's sometimes a little difficult to get down in there and, and get, so be careful, be gentle. It's plastic. You could, if you're a handyman, you could, it wouldn't be a bad idea to replace that with something a little more sturdy. But those are good. I mean, they're, they're, they'll withstand a lot. Wow, they've really decorated this, haven't they? All right, here we go into the great room. So what I'm finding here is essentially the same thing. Not as much depth as we've seen in the other ones, but we've got plenty of width and plenty of square footage to uh, do just about anything. Here's that farm. This is a popular sink here, Brittany, you know, that, that uh, people like. So you have the quartz countertop. Quartz just makes a whole lot more, diff uh, more sense being being attached to water, folks. It just, it, it doesn't have the pricity and, and it, uh, it's just a great, makes it for a great countertop. Easy to clean. You just don't have all the, all the pretty colors and whatnot that you do with granite. So it's a little more subtle and a little more conservative. Like me, a little more conservative. Anyway, now this is nice. So this is your laundry area. Now, again, I don't know if these cabinets come with it or not, but I, I, assume the worst, assume they don't, but there's space for them. So you could put a refrigerator there or something else. But if they do come, it's a great deal. So uh, maybe not quite as much space in the living area here as the last one that we just saw, but this one has the guest room and it has the other bedrooms and then, and then we'll go look at the master. So very functional home still. Oh, very nice. A little more space, has a little more space in the master. So, you you know, it's like squeezing that balloon. You you only have so many square feet. How do we want it designed and proportioned? And this particular plan, which is the 4013, again, starting at uh, 314,990, it gives you a little bit more in the master, okay? This would be the standard. And then if you wanted to put the barn door on you could do that but look at the size I mean look at the look at the um, size of the master bath very nice if she goes too fast for you folks just type it slow down Brittany she she 
has a habit of doing, hi. Double sinks again, and a very nice and spacious closet. So, so far, my, my, uh, I like this one. Uh, I, I like all three, but I like this one, uh, again, because Tina likes it. She wants the one that has the, the uh, spare guest room, and that seems to be a very popular request today, and will become more so. If you're thinking retail, after you buy one of these, and this is another reason to have me with you, when we buy, we're going to be looking at the exit strategy. Believe it or not, I'm just a young kid, so 10 years from now or 8 years from now, whenever you decide to sell this home, we're going to be looking at the exit strategy and what's going to be popular. We can't guarantee everything, but I can tell you there'll always be room for mom and dad, grandma in that, in that room, or one of the kids coming home. That's not going to change in the next 5 to 10 years, I'm sure, or, or ever, if ever. Very, very bright room. I really like this. One of the features that you can add, again, is that little recessed area up there to give the feeling that the room is even larger than it is. So Tom had a question. He yes. Said, when are these homes being built or are they already in a certain phase? That's now? a great question, Tom. Thanks for calling it and, and, and asking. Uh, these homes, they're waiting for the city of Queen Creek uh, to uh, town of Queen Creek to approve the roadways. We, we can only get into so much right now. They were really, if you've been by Ellsworth, you'll have seen these uh, homes being built before they even had the underground and the other streets done. So they really went out ahead. They're trying to get as ahead of things as, as much as they could, get the exposure, that's very smart. And so you're seeing uh, models, but they don't really even have the streets done yet. They do have one spec homes being started uh, that, uh, that could be purchased, but uh, so there, I don't know exactly the answer to your question, but allow some time. I don't think these are going to be quick move-ins at all. We're doing Facebook Live. You're welcome to come in and, <laughs> and look, say hi to the world. <laughs> Thank you for answering, asking that question, Tom. That's a great question. So get a get a, just a feel of the width. Very well proportioned, the side is. Can you see yourself with your kids up at the bar looking for that after school snack? And you're, you're just centered right around all the action. Now, I haven't taken you outside because yeah, frankly, the, you've seen outsides, and they can make outsides as much as as much as you want. It's a standard size home, a standard size lot. Um, you can see here that there is room for a pool, and our friends at Shasta looks like are putting those in. So guaranteed. Look at that. Let's take a look at that little sign, Brittany. Thought I saw that somewhere before. Environments for living, guaranteed heating and cooling less than $95 a month based on, on their estimated energy use. So if you're like me and you like it a little colder, probably going to be more than that. Yeah, yeah. But if, you, if you're reasonable, that's amazing. And so that's your energy efficiency. If, you've, if you own a home today and you're looking at, well, should we move? I mean, we've got a home. Should we put more money into it and make it nice, or should we go look for a new home? I, I will just tell you from one that has moved over 20 some odd times in our married life and built most of those homes myself uh, with, a, with contractors and whatnot, that there's just nothing like uh, a new home. I mean, yeah, there's, there's the nuisance of having to put in the backyard, but I mean, my wife and I phased ours. We didn't go hog wild and, and, and and uh, get into debt over it. We, we took it a little step at a time. I've got contractors, I've got resources, all oh, 40 years of resources. Most of them, many of them are still in business today and I proved them along the way. And so if you, you need someone to recommend, hey, we, we need a pool builder. And I got Mark Kimball come talk to you immediately. You know, he used to be Shasta's uh, main guy. Or, you know, uh, hey, we need somebody to put in some ceiling fans. Uh, you know, I got Keith Faber that will come and do any kind of little handyman stuff for you. Thanks, Keith. 
Uh, Keith was just at a house uh, uh, that just closed escrow for me and came in and did some tweaking. Uh, so I've got all of those resources and I'll handle that for you. Get your home ready to sell and then let's, uh, let's get, you know, the inventory, face it, the inventory today is very low compared to the, to the demand. So you're not going to have a hard time selling your home. The question is, do you want to leave money on the table or do you want me to make sure that you get the most out of your home and get it sold in the quickest manner? I, I've got a, uh, a marketing plan that is uh, next to none, honestly. And so we're going to get that home sold for you. And then we're going to you know, walk through every phase of the new home. There's discounts on commission. There's all kinds of things. Just send me a text or an email, get in touch with me, let me know that you're interested, you're thinking about it, there's no pressure. Just uh, let's just talk about what, would it make sense to sell the home that you're in and buy one of these. And you know, just for the environmental improvements, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's worth, really, it's worth it. And here's the thing I, I like, I pick out the lot, I'm guaranteed a house. That's, to me, that's one of the great advantages of the new homes. And so, Anyway, I think we've um, gone through our uh, what we need, what we came for. Thank you so much for uh, your time and your loyalty, and so many of you have posted um, uh, kind words in uh, in reviews and whatnot. I thank you for that, and uh, the greatest compliment you could give me is to let me be involved in the purchase of your most uh, important investment. And I truly do love that. So until next time, it's Chuck Malone, JK Realty. Uh, you know that if you have a real estate solution, uh, I mean a need, I have the solution. You know that. And so give me a call. Again, it's uh, Memorial Day weekend. I hope you'll take a little time off. I hope that you'll remember those who have sacrificed their all, that we can have a, a free society. We are so grateful for them. Uh, so enjoy your barbecue, enjoy your family, put your arms around them, hug them, because they're, you know, you never know. And so we love you, love all of you, and uh, again, till next time, Chuck Malone signing off.